Confession. I never wanted to be a mom. Being a mom was never in the plans. I never had the three kids in the house, two cars in the garage, and one husband in the bed fantasy. Sure, I played house as a kid, but even as a seven-year-old, I thought Baby Live was frankly a bit demanding. You know, feed me, change me, replace my batteries. Who needs that? No, I came of age at a time when women were grabbing their freedom and equality by the balls, so to speak. I was raised to be an opinionated, strong-willed feminist, and my life was to be full of the liberation the girls of my generation were promised. Career, sex, but not necessarily husbands, our own money, and the freedom to have and do whatever we choose. But in a crushing moment of weakness, I was sidetracked from my Gloria Steinem-inspired journey. And barely into my 20s, I married a boy from the suburbs. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, he's a good man, and he knew some of what he was getting in a girl like me. So, you know, he grew up having his mother wash and fold his clothes until he moved out of the house. He handled my mantra of iron your own damn shirts, honey, quite well, I think. <laughs> I was to be a different kind of feminist now. A few years after we were married, we had our first son. Five years after that, son number two arrived. Ten years after that, baby boy number three. For those of you doing the math, uh, this means in a single day, this super mom can pay college tuition, deal with middle school angst, and answer the call of, Mom, I went potty! Wait for it. And I pooped! Without breaking a sweat. My feminist sisters would be proud. I could tell you that each time the doctors placed that baby boy on my chest, my heart melted, and I felt every edge of my soul soften. And that would be the truth. Whoever I was as a woman was altered the moment I held their tiny fingers and looked into their sweet eyes as they nursed at my breast. But I have a secret. I am not a great mom. <laughs> Don't misunderstand. I love my kids. I feed them. I... <laughs> I get them where they need to be, I buy them shoes, I, I take them to Disney World, I bring them to political rallies. What? That's not in what to expect the social policy years? Damn. Uh, I make them wash their armpits, I even make them do their homework. Still, I'm not the mom we're all supposed to be. I don't bake cookies. I serve pizza for dinner more often than I think the food pyramid suggests. <laughs> I don't craft, I don't knit, I don't scrapbook. I don't get my kids' portraits taken every year. I've only taken two of them to Chuck E. Cheese once, and once is enough for anybody. I can't even play right, truly. I can't pretend to play a game of pretend. Uh, and I really, I get in trouble for this regularly when I, uh, in my, in my, what's the word? Uh, disengaged and state of mind, you know, aha, uh -huh, the yes, sweetie kind of thing that we do. Um, I apparently find that I have agreed to things that cause serious injury, uh, reduce the resale value of my home, or bring about the untimely death of the cat. <laughs> This, this whole 24-hour-a-day mom thing is really exhausting. There should be a warning or a class or something.
Maybe I shouldn't have given baby alive to the dog. <laughs> Despite my failings. And the possibility I will never get the Mom of the Year award. My mom guilt is non-existent. <laughs> After 20 years of being a parent, I need only look to my sons to understand. I may have fallen into motherhood unexpectedly, but I know I didn't lose myself to the job. The strength of my convictions is in their eyes. They are kind. They are respectful. They are inquisitive. And they can recognize inequality at 10 paces. <laughs> especially today. They will be men who stand up. They will stand up for themselves. And most importantly, they will stand up for others. And they make this feminist mother proud. <laughs>